hey everybody, workout three for this week. This is our cardio workout for the week, so be prepared to move. Um, the way this workout is built, you have one, two, three, four segments of um, continuous cardio via either a speed walk, a jog, or a run. And then you have three segments of listed exercises. So I want you to pay close attention to the cardio intervals. I specifically wrote recover before I wrote how long I want you to take on that um, run, jog, or speed walk. I want you to use as much recovery as you need in order to feel like you can do the entire length as close to in a row as possible. So the first one most of you guys will be able to do um, relatively easily. It's only a two minute uh, speed walk or jog. Remember, I prefer you to be doing whatever challenges you. So if you can jog and walk, but it's gonna push you to stay continuously moving, that's what I want you to try. If you cannot uh, jog or if you cannot jog or run due to injury, then speed walk is where you're gonna be and that's perfectly fine. Just push yourself as hard as you can. Make sure you're pumping your arms. That will help with getting your heart rate up. If you are working on jogging and running for longer intervals, but you're not quite to where you can take two, four, six or eight minutes continuous, I want you to take your timer with you in your hand. And every time you're jogging, I want you to, to run the timer. And when you feel like you absolutely have to walk to catch your breath, stop your timer. So instead of maybe doing 60 seconds in a row and then walking the last 60 seconds, you're gonna do 60 seconds in a row, walk what you need, and then start running again until you can add up to the total time of running. So it may take you four minutes to finish that two minute interval, but you will have ended up doing two minutes of running or jogging, which is way more important than uh, just getting the total two minutes. Okay, if you have questions on that, let me know. I hope that was clear. So the exercises themselves, we're gonna go through real quick, but all of them you are only hitting twice for 30 seconds. So that part of the workout should fly by pretty quick. Most of your time, especially toward the end of the workout, is going to be spent in the uh, running, jogging, speed walking phase. So I'm gonna hit every exercise real quick. It's been a while on a couple of them. First one on the list is our walking lateral squat. Remember, if it's lateral, we're going sideways. And if it's a squat, both knees are bending. So that's the key on this one to, to remember. So if I'm walking lateral squat to the right, my right leg is leading, I step out, squat both legs, back together, squat, back together, all 30 seconds are gonna go with my right leg. When I end up lateral squatting with my left leg, walking with my left leg sideways, squat, together, squat, together. All right, so moving on, jumping jacks, we all know, please make sure whether you are jumping or stepping, that you have the full range of motion. Everything goes wide, arms go all the way up, everything comes all the way back together. This is considered cheating a jumping jack. You are not working nearly as hard as you could be, and your heart rate won't get up nearly as high as it could. You need full range of motion, everything moving the whole time. Uh, boxer shuffle. We all know boxer shuffle right now, and it's coming in your warm up for this week, so you should have already had a couple days of it. Remember, on that boxer shuffle, we are light on our toes, one leg is leading in front, and it's a shift front to back. While your feet are still moving, and most of your body is moving, it's not going to be nearly as high of a heart rate as that jumping jack, so it should allow you to come down a little bit before you hit that next round of cardio. So as soon as I finish 30 seconds, the second time through on this boxing shuffle, boxer shuffle, I'm gonna grab my timer and I'm gonna start my recovery walk until I feel ready to hit four minutes on that run. All righty. Next group of exercise, we got a jab cross first. Again, we have them in warm up, so these should feel pretty familiar. We're just looking for speed. Make sure those hips are pivoting, arms are reaching, they're coming all the way back in, but they're not locking out. Don't lock out that elbow. Think about it as almost straight. If you want to leave the feet still underneath you, in other words, you don't want to hop it, you can move just as fast by just turning that back heel, the 
Front leg doesn't have to move. But turn that back heel, lift it up so that you are pivoting in your hips. Abs nice and tight. The harder and faster you pull that arm back, the quicker you'll be moving. It's not how far you throw that punch out. It's how quickly can you get it locked back into your side. So out, quick back. Use those abs. Next are our speed skaters. Done these many times. Remember, our goal is to get as far away as we can. So up and away, just tap that back foot. Up and away, tap. Up and away, tap. Use your arms to help you out. The swing forward can help get you a little bit more vertical so that you cover more space. Hooks, again for warm up. We are hooking around the side. Remember that you are not dropping that arm all the way. It is just rotating and aiming for that rib cage. So rib, 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 just like jab cross. The faster you pull your arm back, the more power your punch has, and the faster you will move. So it's not throw it out super hard, it's out and pop it back. Pop it back into the side, pivot those legs. You should be feeling that core. And the last one on this group of exercises, just our squat. We're gonna go a little bit more narrow with the feet because we did sumo squats earlier this week. So a little bit more narrow, Try to get those knees and elbows to line up so those elbows are out in front at the knees. Then you go right into your recover, then your six minute interval. For a lot of people, this is gonna be where you start to struggle with trying to keep six minutes in a row, and that's okay. But like I said at the beginning, you've got your timer. You do as long as you can before you absolutely have to run, uh, walk. Then hit that stop. Allow your body to walk just enough to run again, and then start that timer again, and accumulate your six minutes. Last three exercises, probably our most challenging of this workout. We've got our lateral high knees, our kneeling lunges, and our push-up flats. Lateral high knees, remember, is the one, two, three, pause. So it's, for me, it's right, left, right, pause, left, right, pause, right, left, Pause, so the knees are coming up nice and high. One, two, three is the pause. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That one's one that really kicked that heart rate up. Next are our kneeling lunges. This is not the alternating to up down lunges. These are the ones we've been working on for kneeling. So from my knees, abs pulling tight, lunge forward and back. Lunge forward and back. Your goal, don't trip on your mat, that's goal number one. Your goal is to get as many as you can and to limit your side to side lean. So I'm trying real hard to stay pulled up to the ceiling, lift and back, lift and back. The more you swing your leg to the side, the more you'll have to lean. So really work that hip flexor and work that core to lift through the center. You're going to have one side that probably has a harder time getting through. It's obviously my left, my knee can come through, but my foot has a hard time staying in line. So do your best to keep everything lined up. You're going to push forward into a little bit of a quick stretch and then come right back. Last exercise of our push-up flats. We all know these. From the assessment, we're just dropping it down, tap the cheek, back up, down, back up, all the way to feet, no matter who you are. There's nothing that I know of that prevents you from getting back to your feet, every single one of you out there. So all the way back into that plank every time, all the way flat. All right, guys, have a great workout.